Micron, the largest microelectronics manufacturer in Russia, is currently testing a new material that is generally known as a photoresist. This material is essential for the production of sophisticated microchips. A photoresist is a material sensitive to light and used in the photolithography process. This technique is instrumental in the development of microchips by generating precise patterns on silicon wafers. The patterns serve as a guide for the etching or construction of specific components of the chip. Complex formulation technology, substantial investment in research and development, and rigorous quality control are all necessary for high-end photoresists. It is uncertain whether Russian manufacturers can attain parity with imported photoresists in terms of quality and performance. Micron's photoresist for 90N MEM technology is manufactured domestically. This initiative is a significant stride toward decreasing dependence on imported materials. This effort is a component of a broader initiative that involves more than 16 Russian manufacturers and research institutions to replace foreign components with local ones. The new photoresist is being manufactured in the Volga Federal District, a significant chemical production center in Russia that generates 40% of the nation's chemical materials. Japanese companies, including Tokyo Oka, Fujifilm, JSR, and Shinetsu Chemical, control more than 70% of the global photoresist market. This dominance is indicative of their extensive experience and technological expertise in the production of high-quality photoresists. In advanced technologies such as ARF, argon fluoride, and EUV, extreme ultraviolet lithography, imported photoresists, particularly those from Japan, are highly regarded for their exceptional quality and performance. These photoresists are necessary to make complex integrated circuit manufacturing processes more flexible, get rid of uneven line widths, and get better imaging quality. Micron's latest domestic photoresist for 90N memem process technologies is less sophisticated than the advanced EUV or ARF photoresists employed in state-of-the-art manufacturing. Advanced photoresists are used to make much smaller and more precise patterns, like those needed for 7 mm or 5 n mm processors. These use materials that are more sensitive and have higher resolution, as well as light with shorter wavelengths. However, Micron's 90NM photoresist is compatible with outdated technology, which results in larger feature sizes that are less suitable for modern high-performance microchips. Nevertheless, it is still valuable for less complex applications. The primary objective of Russia is to make efforts in this field to reduce dependence on foreign technologies and establish self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing through the localization of production tools and materials. The Micron technology for manufacturing semiconductors can produce chips with features as small as 90 nanometers. This process is capable of producing semiconductors with a minimum feature size of 90 n meters, which indicates that the transistors and other components on the chip are not larger than this dimension. 90 n memon chips cater to a niche market rather than a wide one in the global semiconductor industry. Even though newer, more advanced nodes like 7NM, 5NM, and below are used in most high-performance applications like AI, high-end computing, and flagship smartphones, 90NM processors are still useful for some tasks. These include cost-sensitive and less complex applications, such as automotive electronics, IoT devices, wearables, and industrial systems. The longer life cycle and low cost of 90NM technology ensures steady demand in these areas, but it's still a small part of the rapidly growing market for advanced nodes. The Chinese MIC can produce circuits as small as 28N meter and is actively working toward more advanced nodes. The most sophisticated node that China can produce with entirely domestic technology is approximately 14N meters, according to the most recent information. This covers both the design and fabrication processes, employing intellectual property and homegrown equipment. China is working toward advanced nodes such as 7N meter. In contrast, Russia is currently concentrating on 90 nmem technology to transition to 65 nmem and ultimately 28 nmemers by 2028. Russia is heavily reliant on China for its chip supply, with nearly 90% of the processors used in the country being imported from China as of 2023. The primary beneficiaries of Russia's 90 nmem chip production 
will be industries that necessitate cost-effective and dependable microelectronics rather than those that require cutting-edge technology. These chips are mostly used in the defense industry for missile guidance systems, drones, and other military technologies. The space industry also uses these chips for spacecraft and satellite systems due to their proven performance in harsh conditions. Moreover, consumer electronics, industrial applications, and automotive electronics that don't require significant computational capacity can use these chips. This category includes engine control units, industrial control systems, robotics, IoT devices, and fundamental home appliances. Even though they are only used in limited applications, these processors are necessary for keeping important systems running in areas like defense and space, where dependability is often more important than high performance. In 2021, the Volga Federal District achieved a record production of nearly 14 million tons of mineral and chemical fertilizers, contributing over 40% of the nation's total chemical material output. It is a critical participant in Russia's chemical industry. It is abundant in critical natural resources, including 90% of Russia's potassium salt reserves, 60% of phosphate reserves, and substantial amounts of zinc, copper, silver, and gold. These resources are essential for the production of petrochemicals, fertilizers, and other chemical products. Now, do you think Russia has a long way to go in semiconductors? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.